Stormwater is a fancy word for rainfall and snowmelt. And stormwater pollution occurs when rain falls from the sky, it lands on our roofs, our driveways, our streets, and it flows into a catch basin, picking up pollutants along the way, and then goes untreated straight into our water bodies. Uh, all throughout our streets, there's different catch areas where rainwater or runoff of the street will end up in these basins. They are tied into a network that will eventually be discharged um, onto a body of water. We are also labeling storm drains so people are aware that these storm drains are going straight into the river, that they're not connected to any kind of treatment plant whatsoever. We provide routine maintenance for the town on all catch basins and other drainage infrastructure. So a catch basin is basically an underground structure and all of the storm water that runs down the street, runs down a gutter line, eventually goes to one of these metal grates in the street. So it's really important that people remember that, that uh, by keeping their drains clean, they're also keeping their water clean. I think the most important thing is to always remember that what you do on your property uh, can affect what happens in the river. Number one thing that residents can do is to pick up trash, litter. If you're a smoker, keeping your cigarette butts out of the, off the ground because when all of the water comes down from the sky, it's gonna collect it all into our water systems. Some people like to use rain barrels, collect the rainwater, and then you can use that to fill a watering can to water your plants around the lawn. Just simply cleaning up after your pets. We have lots of pet mitt stations with bags for picking up pet waste. There's always plenty of small things that don't seem like a lot that you can do, um, but overall, if everybody did them, it would have a huge impact.